Daylight Verse by coming to you after doing some international travel hopping in Eastern and uh, Central Europe. And I wanted to talk about some of the news that happened today. DD Global got hit with a massive uh, data privacy cybersecurity fine of $1.2 billion. And I wanted to bring this back to the geopolitical landscape that we all need to take uh, note of, especially when running large multinational corporations. Um, let's start with regulation. So in China, there is has been growing regulation around data privacy and uh, cybersecurity. And as ironic as that may sound um, to many of you listening, um, let's peel back the, uh, the, the the rise of a lot of regulation in China. In general, regulation by any government is meant to control. Uh, typically, and hopefully, we we all as citizens would like to hope that it's done for altruistic reasons to protect the citizens. But in the geopolitical landscape, when especially a closed uh, government is having prominent multinational corporations do business with outsiders, um, it's in their best interest to maintain control of the rising multi-billion dollar multinational companies so that they don't lose control of other uh, liaises that that company might be having with with Western companies, U.S. companies, you know, etc. So that being said, regulation is definitely a, a way in which um, many governments can help to control, you know, what can be shared, what cannot be shared. And this is very much a political move. Oftentimes in the United States, we think that regulation is just for altruistic reasons, state privacy laws, federal privacy laws, etc., uh, of which we don't have in the United States. But, um, you know, the point is with this DD $1.2 billion fine, we see, you know, a prominent mobile platform company that does business with a lot of uh, global companies and uh, we see a massive, massive fee being imposed to some um, to, to some of the actions that DD Global has taken. Now, DD Global hasn't made any comment on what just happened, um, but they have conceded, uh, at least thus far, to the, the fine, uh, which is interesting. Um, so the point here is, is you know, is number one, you, you, from in today's uh, geopolitical climate, you have to look at geopolitical themes, especially if you're. Um, you know, part of a multinational company. You have to understand, you know, what is the, some, you have to peel back the onion with some of the things that are happening, you know, across the globe. In this specific case, this is a very interesting case with the fine being imposed because we see, you know, the Chinese government flexing its muscle and being able to make sure that it has a tight rein on growing and prolific, prolific companies that are liaising with multinational companies around the world. Information exchange, technology exchange, exchange, IP, intellectual property can be at risk if you know companies that are growing are being left to do whatever they want, especially in a very tight, closed-off, um, you know, government society that is, you know, China. So, um, just wanted to bring this to to uh, everyone's attention. Hopefully, this was useful. And the key takeaway here is is also drawing it back to Versprite. Check out the annual Envisions 2022 report. We talk about geopolitical risk all the time. It is some of the causal factors of cybercrime today, um, especially with so many polarizing topics that exist in societies, in government, in business. Um, if you're not having geopolitical risk as part of your risk management global framework, then you're really missing a major component to, to do some level of predictive control implementation for your global organization. Tony UV for Versprite signing out. Thanks so much. Take care. Safe travels.